Okay guys, this video is to show you how to use Easy Road Generator and also get the terrain after you project it ready for scatter. So I'm gonna be using Easy Road, Easy Road Generator and Easy Grass Generator. Both are available on Gloom Road, but at the Blender Market, uh, glass, uh, Grass Generator, Easy Grass is still uh, under uh, spending for approval but you can find the road generator there as well right so this is the road generator and uh, I quickly want to show you how that look likes after you project on your terrain so what you have in your easy road generator is this collection here right so you have the lens the rows the terrain and the assets right so what happened in the terrain in the terrain you have your ref which is the collection this collection in which you will use that as a ref for your project so wherever terrain you want to project your mesh on top of it it has to be inside this collection first right the very beginning so if you want to project something project the road generator into that terrain so put the terrain here on the, at this uh, collection first and then after you do the project I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen okay right now what you're gonna do you have your road generator like you guys know already how to use it it's pretty straightforward but to project on your terrain you have to Turn it on and off. So let's project. So it's projected now, but it's not cut it out. So why it's not cut it out? Because this is the just the terrain for the reference. Yeah, let's remove this guy here. It's doing nothing. Okay, and that's not what you're gonna use. Actually, after you project your mesh into your terrain, your terrain should be here. So the road generator will create the terrain cut it out and adjust it here inside easy terrain generated right so that's the terrain that was generated okay so for you to scatter this and this terrain so those uh, those collections you shouldn't change anything on those collections because it's reference on uh, the ge uh, at the geometry nodes level okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this collection which is the collection which your terrain was projected okay and uh, just duplicate that okay and after you duplicate that you can use that for scatter I'm gonna duplicate this collection okay so now you are free you can hide this one and do whatever you want with this guy so you can just convert that into mesh and voila and scatter your thing here and everything will be fine okay let's do this with a uh, with a different terrain so you guys will see how to use that in a different terrain okay let's do this guy here Take the road let's remove the projection okay and for now we go inside our collection the ref we will just bring uh, let's let's bring any landscape okay let's do something like this right maybe something like this Something like this, okay. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. We can take these guys, let's model a bit more. Bring it here, here, right here.
okay something like this let's remove this name we actually don't need that okay let's remove this terrain it's not necessary okay so right now these terrain are here inside ref we are gonna what we are gonna do we're gonna project and now our road is projected okay on top of our terrain right now if you go to your easy terrain generated you see that the terrain was generated and was created here okay so as you can see your mesh will adapt the terrain will be adapted to your mesh like it would be and the real terrain okay so in this case we will duplicate this guy duplicate collection okay hide this one and for this guy we will just convert that into mesh okay as soon as it that is converted into mesh we can go here and delete these faces so we don't need to see that here anymore okay we can even go to a kind of sculpted level and kind of you know just a bit so we don't have this huge bump bumpness happening here okay something like this all right keep in mind that this terrain was very very uh it was very bumped, so probably that wouldn't happen in real life, okay? But for now, that's fine for us, just to see how the, the road generator works, okay? Right now, that's fine. We are going to bring it now, uh, let's see, the Easy Grass Generator, which is a grass generator that has uh, released. Is not in Blender Market, but is on Gum Road at this point. However, this is a version that I will release um, this week, probably. This version that I'm working on. Let's see if it's this one. I think it's this one. Anyway, let's bring it here. Here we go that's the version okay what we what we have now it's not necessary for you to pay attention on this because you can append you can bring your easy grass it doesn't it doesn't necessarily has to be this way okay so the only thing you have to do is pick up your terrain pick up your easy grass and press uh, control G to combine them and see what's gonna happen okay now we have uh, our grass scattered all over the place delete space so basically you don't need to you don't need to see all of these because those are the assets that came with uh, easy grass where is the easy grass it's here let's just remove it for now so we don't see here on the viewport level okay so that's the easy grass so that's already scattered you just hide the assets okay and now we can go here and see we have our ground blah 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 okay we just need to have the ground level which is this one okay that's what i'm using i'm using the easy grass that i have it already i just i just need to go to the uv control maybe kind of uh control a little bit the UVW for the grass okay all good not a big deal and then uh, let's see what's gonna happen if we try to render this guy out 
how it will be. Let's see. Oh, pretty, pretty small. It's really very small. It's not what I, I want. I want to see more. Let's put. Uh, Let's bring the aspect radio for video at this one. Okay, so we can see more, a bit more. We can even bring the divisions for the sidewall. Let's bring it. Divisions one. So we will have the divisions on the sidewalk level. Okay. The divisions are here as you can. As you can see, those are the divisions. Sidewalk is divided. Okay. So, and uh, you can scatter anything you you want it here. You know, it's not necessary. You don't need to scatter easy grass. It's, I'm just showing you uh, how to use the terrain after you projected that to scatter wherever you have to scatter trees, bushes, grass, anything you really want to scatter, that's that's the way to do. Okay? I'm just gonna be showing you that it works and that's all. And if you want to op even optimize your grass for for the sake of uh, your view, I will be releasing a tutorial for the Easy Grass Generator soon, so you can check it out and see uh, how it would work for larger scenes. So you can optimize that because this scene, for instance, is not that large. Still, it's most of the RVs, the exterior uh, simple scenes that the kind of grass. It will be more or less what, will, what you would see scattered all over the places, right? Something like this, maybe. Yeah, let's try something like that. And we will bring this cooling here. Distance cooling. If you use this distance cooling, this means that the grass will be. will be disappearing uh, at a certain distance from this object and maybe that's what you want for optimizing your scene uh, let's put the, the cooling on let's bring our grass to the scene so we can see what's going on you see, you see the grass is going it's going basically at the level of this here. Okay. If we scale up, the cooling, the grass will be falling more. Or we can go and uh, maybe the cooling more distant, right? Five. Let's see. 
and probably you will be covered more of the area however uh, it will not cover the entire thing the entire scene right because maybe that's not what you want you see the grass will be scattered just in this area right so but maybe that's enough let's turn it on the wireless turn it on the wireless and also we don't want the grass to mix with the sidewalk so for that we just need to get the sidewalk and put inside the inside the remove contact collection okay but we don't want to take this collection out of our easy road generator collection because we just want to be organized so we can just copy this guy and paste that inside the remove contact and wait to see if something's gonna change here you see now we don't have the grass is not passing by the sidewalk anymore okay that's what we want and let's render out see how it goes see if it goes faster because now we are using the the cooling distance so the object is kind of uh, uh, it's not scattering the grass all over the, the geometry but just in the areas that we determine okay let's see how it goes you see that what now it was way faster because you are kind of focused on just that area that you want okay so we see the grass is scattered all over the places here but here it's not anymore so as it's a bit farther so you we don't, you don't see the grass anymore however we see something is going wrong and we are with the sidewalk and the reason for that is just because we are still seeing we have two sidewalks in the same place and we can go here and the grass easy grass generator remove contact and we just hide this guy here and render out again so now we will have just our, our original sidewalk okay I hope you guys are understanding this this because I want to explain so and fi figuring out the possible uh, uh, questions that you guys may have uh, but that's very easy in as soon as you practice this workflow it gets really really straightforward it's just really straightforward you see now our sidewalk is much better everything is working well the roads and everything the grass okay and the grass is not going on the roads anymore and that's it that's it I hope you guys like it the final result I like it I think that's it's really easy to play around with and it saves your time when when it comes to modeling roads in the terrain in a, at the level of the terrain if it's not a terrain that's fine you can do flat you know flattening roads anywhere you see that's the image I think it's pretty good okay and check it out if you wanna if you're more curious about just go at Gumroad uh, you will see my email there email me and if you have any questions and uh, you have also the easy grass generator which will be there and yeah see you guys soon